Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a Drag Race UK Season 5 um, ca rumored cast list video. Again, I'm trying out a new sort of setup by recording on StreamYard with this time, um, as opposed to doing it live or through full editing. Because um, I just want to try some new things out this year and all of the above. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below what you think about this cast and all of the above, and hit that subscribe button, come join the Sandwich Hour community. And without further ado, let's get right on into this cast list. Um, oh wait, we're not doing that. Anyways, alright, um, so again, this is early on in the process, so take it all with a bit of a grain of salt, because we don't know ultimately if this cast list is correct. Um, the rumors are saying that they have started filming, so the likelihood of this being correct is there. Um, so again, there, <coughs> <coughs> there are currently 11 queens included in this cast, plus a potential 12th queen. However, that queen is less likely to be included, so take that with what you will. Um, we will begin right on into this cast list now. First queen up, we have Alexis St. Pete from London. As you can see, she's a very pretty queen. Again, this cast list is giving me very much fashion queens versus, not verse, but fashion queens and um, camp queens. And Alexis St. Pete gives me very much fashion, uh, as you can see with this picture um you can also find her on instagram she's from london i don't have too much else to add on her um she's very pretty so hopefully we'll be getting some cool runways from her her makeup is really pretty very much fashion 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 next up we have Banksy. Banksy is from Manchester. Again, very much giving me young fashion queen. Like I said, it's very much young fashion versus camp. Kind of what you can kind of come to expect with the UK drag race UK setup. Um, Banksy excites me a little bit. No, I don't want to say more. Banksy excites me. I think she's fun. Um, obviously from Manchester, so hopefully we'll be getting some cool Manchester queens. I don't have too much else to add. Um, again, young fashion queen. Like, it's very much give me what I expect from a young fashion queen. No shade. Just it is what it is, you know? All right, next up, we have Caramel. Caramel is from London. She is a very beautiful trans woman and a gorgeous drag queen um i am so excited for caramel and honestly caramel is probably one of the top queens i'm the most excited for on this season she just gives me everything i want to see in a drag queen which i love and she's so pretty get into that mug oh my god she's gorgeous um but yeah i'm super excited for caramel Probably the queen I'm the most excited to see on this season. No shade to any of the other queens. Just it is what it is. Um, and I'm pretty sure she's good friends with Tace and Ahura and all of those queens. So she's very much going to give us fashion. Very much going to give us gorge mug. You can kind of see what I'm saying with this. Like, she's just gorgeous. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. But that's Caramel. Next up, we have Crystal Lubricant. This is the first somewhat camp queen, in my opinion. Uh, Crystal is from London. Um, she, again, scrolling through her Instagram gives me more campy looks. Very much kind of reminds me of um, Pandora Box. I don't want to put compare queens or anything like that. But it very much reminds me of Pandora Box. If you scroll through her Instagram, you'll see what I mean. Um, so hopefully we'll get some fun campy moments with her. Um, she's from London. Again, another London queen. 
I like her mug, though. I like her wig. She seems fun. Again, hopefully she'll be one of the funnier queens. I don't know. I don't know how funny this cast is going to be. That's my one worry is when it comes to, like, acting challenges and things like that. I'm not so sure how well this cast is going to go. Let me know what you think down below. But this is Crystal Lubricant. Next up, we have Dee Delicious from London. Very much give me makeup, fashion, queen. If you get into the mug, very much reminded me of Crystal Versace. Very much that. Um, really, really pretty mug. Um, throughout all her Instagram, you can see that. And again, it makes sense. Like I said, it's a lot of fashion queens, a lot of makeup queens, a lot of that. Um, no shade, no shade, no shade, no shade. Just it is what it is. Like, that's what we're going to get. We're going to get some really cool runways. I'm worried, like I said, about the acting challenges. Again, this is just from first impressions from Instagrams. Like, and also judging based on the fact of how Drag Race tends to edit these storylines together, they definitely tend to say, like, oh, the fashion queen, you're not very funny. Oh, ha ha ha. Um, so it is what it is. Again, this cast list is kind of giving me UK3 vibes. No shade. Like, I enjoyed UK3, but I definitely think UK4 was better um so i'm worried but we will see we will see next up we have ginger johnson yes the name is ginger johnson after a season with copper top ginger johnson i mean like <laughs> no shade no shade no shade no shade campier queen i think is what we're gonna get from ginger um Hopefully she'll be funny. That's my big hope is that she will be a funny queen. Because so far, I'm not so sure, like I've been saying, in terms of humor. We will have to wait and see. Um, but she seems interesting. Again, it's interesting that we're getting a queen named Ginger Johnson right after having a season with a queen named Copper Top. That's interesting to me. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from Ginger. Um, but she seems interesting. Sure. Alright, I need to stop doing it that way. Next up, we have Kate Butch. Kate Butch. Uh, from London. Again, I like the name a lot. I think Kate, it's a pun on Kate Butch, obviously. Kate Butch. Um, hopefully, she'll be good. I don't know. Um, I'm excited. She seems fun. Again, another London queen. At this point, you might as well call it Drag Race London. <laughs> ha ha! Um, so it's essentially London with a few extras. But, um, again, I don't have too much else to add on Kate Butch. Um, scrolling through Instagram gets me a little bit more camp than fashion. So again, camp first. You know what I'm trying to say. Like, we'll have to wait and see what she brings to the stage, to the stage, to the stage. Next up. <coughs> Next up, we have Michael Mark, Mark, Marcully, Mark, Marcelli from Liverpool. Again, like I said, we have a few extra queens from other countries, not other countries. Wow, I'm ignorant. A few queens from different locations other than London, but majority from London. Again, we recently had a Liverpool winner, so I don't necessarily think Michael's going to win. You know, based on that, again, maybe we'll get some humor moments from this queen, I hope, because a lot of these queens are giving me fashion, which, again, according to the Drag Race narrative, fashion means you can't be funny most of the time. But again, we have to wait and see. I really don't have too much else to add on her. Next up, we have Naomi Carter from Doncaster. I'm very excited for this queen. I'm very, 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 very excited for this queen. Gives me very much what I want to see in drag. Really exciting stuff, really different stuff. And I really enjoy this. Like, this is another queen I'm very much looking forward to. I hope she makes it far. Again, with the name of, like, Naomi Carter, I hope for some really fierce fashions. Um, 
and I'm really excited. I think she'll be really, really good. I, I have high hopes. High hopes. High hopes for Naomi. High hopes. Yeah. Next up, we have Tamara Thomas. Tamara Thomas, I believe is how you say it, from Hartpool? Hart, Hart, Hartpool? Hartpool? Hart. Anyways, um, again, another fashion queen. No shade. Another fashion queen. Um, Mug queen, again, we'll have to wait and see what she brings in terms of other challenges. But I'm hopeful that she'll bring some cool runways and cool makeup. Yeah. Again, I really don't have too much else to add on these queens. Mostly wanting to show you all the visuals from each of these queens, what you can expect, and all of the above. Sort of like a first impression sort of thing. Next up, we have Vicky Vivacious. Vicky Vivacious. Hopefully a camp queen with this wig is giving me camp energy. So hopefully a funny queen from Cornwall, which again is different. So I enjoyed that. Um, like you can kind of get what I'm getting from these promo, from not promos, from these pictures. Um, so again, we'll have to wait and see. I'm more excited for her. This brings out the official rumored cast. There is an additional likely but not likely at all actually like very unlikely but possible i'm not throwing not saying impossible we have to wait and see but the final potential queen is reba martell reba martell is from glasgow if you know rupaul you know rupaul loves the glasgow queen i mean look back at lawrence cheney lawrence cheney um love lawrence um so hopefully reba gives me very much experienced camp queen which i really love so honestly i hope she's on this cast list because i think she would bring something really exciting to it again um we have to wait and see i don't have too much else to say about her but she seems fun she seems fun yeah again that does bring the end of this cast list like i said it gives me a little bit of uk3 vibes no shade no shade no shade just it is what it is. In terms of things I'm looking forward to, obviously it's going to be a fun season. I really enjoy UK. I will be reviewing it when it, <clears throat> when it comes out in all of the above. Um, also, I'm I continue to want Juno Birch to put her name into the gauntlet for Drag Race. I don't think Juno Birch will ever do it because she doesn't need Drag Race. She's just stunning on her own, stunning. Um, but yeah. Again, it's not too big of a cast. They continue to do this 12 number, which I actually appreciate. I feel like 12 is like a good number of queens. Because if you go beyond that, you end up with season 15. I, don't get me wrong, I enjoy season 15. But it's too many queens. Like, they have 16 queens and now we are just now down to 14. That's crazy. Crazy. Anyways. Um, that does bring me the end of this video. Let me know what you think about this cast list down below in the comments section. Make sure to hit that like button. Uh, share this video all over your social media. And hit the subscribe button. Come join the Sandwich Hour community. And you can also follow me on my other social media platforms. All, again, scrolling down in the ticker down below. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all later. Have a good rest of your night or day wherever you are. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!